potential of what I would have liked to have been, but I'm here. Uh, I went ahead and started to take the wheel adapters off and ran into an issue of having to uh, basically... They're, they're fucked. Yeah, we're, we're, they're good and fucked. So, <laughs> as you can see in this one here and that one there, and then uh, it looks like we just all hope was lost and we broke out the level. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that being said, we've ran into this problem before, and boom! I just happened to be ahead of him in the game because I seen this last night. Before we dropped the axle, I said, probably need to bring those tomorrow. And I get a message while I'm waiting on a train that said, and I quote, fuck these adapters. <laughs> and I said, why, as I'm taking a picture of these bolts to send to him, and he said, these damn bolts, and I sent the picture, he said, oh shit, all right. <laughs> so, he's gonna go ahead and work on getting the rest of those off, and then uh, we'll go ahead and slide the 8.8 back here, try and fit some things up. He's seen right away that we're probably gonna have an issue with the uh, lower control arm brackets. He said, these look to be too low. So we're probably going to have to angle these up. So there's going to have to be some modifications to this perch. I really hope that there's not a lot just because I'm ready to get this in. But we, uh, we're hoping that high percentages that uh, we'll have everything fitted up and welded out by the end of the day. So, as you can see, well, you can't, but now you can. You can see that he's welding up the uh, bolt to get it pulled out because these are a son of a bitch. So stay tuned for, I guess, what's to come because, hell, I don't even know. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Added leverage. <laughs> So just like that, the uh, adapter is off. You just got to get the spacer off and then out the door that one goes. Uh, Pebble believes that he might already have a buyer for it, so that's it's good. It's actually already here. That Jeep's in the queue. It's outside the door right now. Oh, you locked this one? Oh, there we go. There it is. Uh, he just informed me that, it, I'll let you tell it. So, that guy's got a bad rear end, happens to be a buddy of mine's uncle, and we now have this nicely, gently used rear end laying on the floor. Gently. It was gently. We're gonna put that in there and try to recoup some of his, uh, build money and... Not a lot. <laughs> maybe he can buy a few more bolts. <laughs> some bolts, anyway. <laughs> but, uh, did you tell him what's up with the frame? Uh, actually, the frame's completely broken in half on the driver's side, and he's got the winch cable ran underneath it. So he can see it. All sucking it together so he could unload it off the trailer. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Which is actually an issue that we uh, came across on mine last night. I didn't think that the uh, frame was that bad. And it still isn't. Like, I thought it was, I'm not going to say mint, but I thought it was way better than what it is. And, uh, well, we found out that mine falls into the uh, common uh, rear half of the frame rot, I guess. But it's only, you know, from here to here. So not too far, not too far gone. Definitely something that we can patch together before it's completely shot. So, um, like I said, we got to get that spacer off and... Out the door it goes. So we've got all the bracket geometry all figured out and stuff. Uh, Shrek came by today. Uh, real quick though, what was it you might have mentioned over and over and over again in an episode that might have been wrong with the Jeep? Oh, well, it's a head gasket. A head gasket? You know what it was? You need to diagnose your problems better. <laughs> Water pump. So. So anyway, uh, over here, there was a, if you can't tell, most of everything that's supposed to be in here is on the ground. 
And Shrek here took care of a hole in this area. Looks good. I think the wire's cheap. Hmm? I think the wire's cheap. Well, well, it was cheap. It's got a bunch of prosody. A lot of prosody. It was cheap. But it's You never know until you try. Say, but it's cheap. We did try, and we burned up. I burned up several tips. Well, same tip, several times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember my first time. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, that's YouTube. You can't say that shit. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> so. All right. Are we ready to push her to the back? Uh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I think so. Ready to push her to the back and gently see if things go in place. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. Let's grab the, grab the old uh, jack stands. We'll take it back there. No, we got dollies back there. Oh. We got I'm wheels. Make sure to bring dollies. Wait, we're going to get on. Oh, Ready? Alright, one, two, three. Fuck yeah. Here you go. Used to be, what we're taking is take the cutoff wheel. Hit it here. Tweak it up. Get your grind. Alright. Okay. So, so we're going to come down. Everybody ready? Yeah, go ahead. Here we fucking go. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a great pinion angle right there. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You want a point towards transfer case? Right at the bottom of it. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> the issue we're running into is you probably can't see around the spring. Anyway, this upper control arm comes in at an angle, and these are basically at a 90 with the Jeep or parallel with the Jeep. So therefore, we're going to have to do some modification, cock this out just a little bit to line up with that, and everything be hunky-dory. Right. Right. Look at the frame rock. Hopefully we can do it. The we already discussed it. Shut the fuck up. Hopefully we can do it. The bolt will still line up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all we're talking about is taking, in theory, cutting that right there, right there, and... Don't say that word. The in theory? Yes. Okay. Okay. We're, okay, we're not going to say that. So what we're going to do... <laughs> there you go. So, all right. I think the grinder is right here. Right here, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being with the prison. I cut it all the way almost to the back. Yeah. Yeah, boy! So, is that enough for control on the bolt? Yes, I hope so. Because I had spares. Right. I can't find them. Hey, before you get stupid, why don't you simmer the fuck down? Because at the end of this, that bolt's still got to go through that. So you gotta cut the back side too. It's not pretty, but it's cut. Are you sure? Well, no. no. I think you got a little connection right there. I see that. Alright. Watch yourself. How much do you think we need? That's the next thing. Uh, wow, that's completely broke off. Yeah, yeah it is. Trick! Lord! Well done! <laughs> 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 Okay, so we got an angle and the bolt still goes through it. So, we're doing better than we was. Alright. I'm 
All right, the end of day four is uh, no better than the beginning of day four. Uh, we got the 35 out the door, as you've seen, and 8-8 uh, is underneath it, but that's it. Uh, the bracket kit that we got is... Uh, Universal is the word we're going to use. <laughs> Universal is the word given to us. I'm not going to sit here and talk shit about the guy and say that his knowledge is very poor but we were uh, kind of led on to believe that it was a yeah you figure out the measurements tacker in place or welder in place uh, like I wanted to do and uh, call it a day Hubble is going to look some things over tomorrow and uh, try and get some measurements that's if I'm not here and uh not that I'm going to be that much more of a help. <laughs> Since we're kind of uh, down to, hey, can you fix my shit that I managed to... We completely redesigned these brackets. Yeah, so they came in one way. What are, after you, we tacked all the pieces together, so we're not going to count those as all separate pieces. What did we have? We had seven pieces, you said? Yeah, seven pieces we had to cut. And every one of them had to be modified. So universal is R from the truth. Um, I wish I could be more positive about this situation, but that's all the positivity you're getting out of me. I'm very positive that this is a fuck up on my part. First time? <laughs> First time here? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, that's the end of day four. Maybe by the end of day five, there's an axle under it that's hooked up to all of the linkages and uh, things that needs to be there. I'm not going to sit here and say it will be. But Setting on its own weight is the goal. Yeah. I mean, can I ask if we... <laughs> Jack stands don't count. Right. You didn't say that. Jack stands aren't cool. <laughs> All right, end of day four. That's all we got. Hey, was it the head gasket? It was not the head gasket. It was a water pump. There's a whole episode on that. The one prior to this one. Yeah, I know. I watched it. Did you now? Not a single like or comment. Nope. I don't know how to do that shit. This guy. All right, stay tuned for the next one. <laughs> it is uh, day five. And... Uh, Nothing's looking good. The uh, axle is out from underneath the Jeep, and all of the brackets are either still dangling to what they're supposed to be on, oh, well, along with the axle. Let me just show you. There's a pile of brackets, and uh, there's some brackets there, and some brackets over there, and apparently I don't have an exhaust anymore. <laughs> Um, so we decided to uh, up and move to the front. Um, still intact as of right now. At this point, I kind of feel like uh, we should just leave it alone. Throw the 35 back in. I sell the Jeep and uh, we move on with life. <laughs> it, it, was nice, it was nice having you as a buddy, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm kicking rocks. So uh, what we do have. It's over there in that box. What we do have is the XJ, yeah. ZJ, the XJ Dana 30 stripped. We're over here stripping the YJ 30, as you can see. Getting ready. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, it's going up there. Okay. Here I throw in there, and then eventually drag that out. And I'd love to be more optimistic right now, but uh, <coughs> when you're working on, what, how many days, three, three days on the brackets? Yeah. In and out, in and out? Yeah. Kind of sucks. So, <laughs> trying to sell some shit to buy the correct brackets. So, if anybody's interested in a 88 to 98 cab or a front bumper, hit me up. 
or just buy me the brackets and we'll trade. At this point, he's willing to trade personal favors for uh, the correct brackets. I was going to say, I, <laughs> if you knew the location of where I'm at and uh, the, the favors I'm willing to do, <laughs> there's uh, some sketchy shit that could go down tonight. So. Because he's married, don't win. Well, to a, to a point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that was easy. Ball right. That was cool. <laughs> beat on it. Oh, that's Why funny. didn't you catch it? Yeah. I was holding on to the thing. <laughs> Good thing I don't got much parts in there. Ooh. Huh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit of an update. Not a whole lot of uh, excitement at the, at the moment. Actually, I mean, this is pretty exciting. Not move. I'm not pointing at that. I'm pointing at that. <laughs> the end of day five is uh, ending on a high note. So all the negativity you just seen is actually uh, behind us. <laughs> now it's behind us. <laughs> but what we did do, what they. What they did do, I, I basically stood and was the bitch and handed tools. But what, they, what we got done here is the high pinion 30 that's going in is uh, all but done. We got some bolts here and there. And then that's got to come out. And we have some bracket surgery that needs to be done off of this one onto that one because whoever owned that one was an idiot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Day five. That's a wrap. Uh, what are we expecting on day six? We would like to get the old front end out. We're keeping it simple. We're shooting, shooting low. We want to get yeah. that front end out. And judging by the way the rear end went, I have faith. Yeah, don't do that. And you've, you've already changed the bolts for the wheel adapter, so that's cool. <laughs> yes. So that helps. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> So that's, uh, that's how day six should go. Um, we're just gonna end it on that.